All right, guys. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Easy 8 came out. When you're seeing this, it will have been yesterday. Uh, I'm recording this the day it came out, but because of scheduling and all that, uh, you're seeing it tomorrow. Th that was probably very confusing. Sorry. <laughs> um, but anyways, this Vegeta Easy 8 came out recently, I'll say. Uh, Super and Super Saiyan 3. He's weak to the Super Saiyan 3 category, which I will say Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is probably the category lead a lot of people, well, like, the least people have. Um, because if you think about it, like, a, a lot of people are like, oh, nobody runs Omega, but, like, Omega was on a dual Dokkan, it was on a whole bunch of dual Dokkan Fest, actually. A lot of people probably have him. Like, it's either probably him, Agility Metal Cooler, or, uh, Super Boo, STR Super Boo. Actually, it's, it's probably STR Super Boo, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, now this stage is actually super easy. Like, we haven't got to the point where we've even gotten Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's, uh, secondary part of his passive active. Like, the 40% support. So we're just, like, cruising through this. And we haven't even got to the point where, yeah, like, see there, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock didn't take any damage. Uh, now this GT Goku is actually, like, sneaky clutch on this EZA because he's Super Saiyan 3 and he's agility. And if you've got a few orbs in him, he'll tank really well and he'll do a whole bunch of damage. And there was stage 25. <laughs> actually, I think that was stage 26. Um, but either way. Uh, this EZ is not difficult at all. Like, even if you have, uh, Blue Evolution Vegeta, you could use him as lead, and just bring, like, Super Saiyan 3 units, and I still think you'd be fine. Um, so, I think this one will be pretty simple for free-to-play players. Uh, and one thing is, uh, not tomorrow, but I think the day after, uh, there's gonna be a video up on the Super Saiyan 3 team versus Super Battle Road. Um, in that video, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta will not be uh, easy 8 because I recorded that on last Friday because I was just kind of bulk recording because there was a whole bunch of stuff I needed to get done. Um, and because of that, uh, that video still has not been posted uh, because I just want to upload one video a day and it would be like if I... And it's for no reason other than the fact that like the YouTube algorithm and all that nonsense, but like otherwise I would just like upload like five videos one day and then no videos for two days it's like you get more videos but it would be less consistent and YouTube likes consistency so that's why that video will be out after his easy A is out but he's not easy eight in that video uh, so I did just want to explain that real quick and also as you probably noticed I'm almost back at 100 stones I don't think I'm gonna summon on the Goku Black Banner anymore I got Super Saiyan 3 Bardock I got uh, in Goku Black. The only unit left on the banner that I want is STR Rose, and STR Rose is on the AGL Zamasu banner. And the AGL Zamasu banner, uh, I think right now, I'm sorry if you can hear this, it just started to rain, and it's kind of loud. Um, but I honestly think I'm saving for the Agility Zamasu banner and the Tech Trunks banner, and I wouldn't recommend other people do that. Like, free-to-play players definitely wail out on the four year, you know? Um, but... The thing is, like, because, and I know I've said this before, so a lot of people are probably sick of hearing it, because this is a single player game, it doesn't matter what, like, the most broken OP units are, it just matters what you want to have. It's like a collector card game, except you can't really play your friends. So, like, it, hmm. Because no matter what, you'll be able to beat any Dokkan event, all the Super Battle Road stages, uh, for the most part, obviously, um, it's just, like, up to you, whatever you want to get. And I want the Zamasu and Trunks, like, real bad. And their banners are super good, too. Um, who knows, I might do, like, two cycles on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner, just because on that banner I actually don't have LR Super Vegito or LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, that might be a good one. But I don't think I'm going to wail out on the 4-year banner at all. Uh, and then you can do that. And as you can tell, um, also, <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta... Uh, he is, like, the first, uh, easy A unit that's actually, like, super good on his own stage. Because he reduces damage by, I think, it's 80%. Uh, so he's just coming in clutch here. And actually, you know what? At the end of this video, we might do a single. I don't know. We might do a single on the Goku Black Banner. Or a few singles. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> actually, there's a world tournament coming up. I'm gonna do a multi on A Banner. Because... This video is actually, like, super short. Um, yeah, sure. Take you. 
Although I don't know which banner though, because right now there are like three discount banners up, which is what I think I'm gonna do the multi on. Um, and there's also uh, something. Oh yeah, the EZA banner is also up. And huh, I can't remember what the last banner up is. Oh yeah, the Ingoku Black banner. I'm dumb. Uh, okay. If the ETA banner was guaranteed featured unit, I would actually do that because I'm one dupe away from rainbowing Super 17, uh, Agility Rose, and I could also always just use more copies of Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta just because he's pretty solid. <clears throat> Not this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. He's okay, but he wasn't the one that I was talking about. So, like, as you can see here, like, nothing really difficult has started yet, and even once it does, we have all of the solid defensive units, so it won't even be that difficult. Uh, now, I think in the later stages, it actually might be better to, like, start running a pure Saiyans team with Super Saiyan 3 units, because, um, like, for example, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku that I have in the last slot here, he actually doesn't get any defense, he doesn't reduce damage or anything. Hey, there's that level 15 additional. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be pretty upset about that, but I actually did give my Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta level 15 additional, um, just because, uh, his passive doesn't activate unless if, uh, like, the opponent is stunned. Well, his attack boost passive, I should say. It doesn't activate unless the opponent is stunned, but if he stuns him in the first attack and then gets an additional super, uh, his passive will activate. He will get his 120% attack buff, and when that happens, he's, like, gross. Like, he's super good. See, so, like, here, this is... This is a super bad defensive rotation, um, and it actually wouldn't be if Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta wasn't only hitting the f first slot, because the two Bardocks get defense on super, um, okay, Gamer on uploaded video, whatever, um, but because Super Saiyan 3 Bardock gets his defense on super attack, uh, that actually means in the first slot that Bardock is taking hits and he has no defensive boost whatsoever, uh, so if all of those were, like, in the second slot, uh, we would have been fine, because Bardock could have supered, and then he would have raised his defense, and then we would have tanked him fine. But now, our health is actually kind of low, so I'm not sure how far in this easy I can get. I think it's pretty far, because there have been multiple occasions, like recently, where I got the easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the first rotation, and he got double supers, and he just straight up killed Vegeta. Like, him by himself just killed Vegeta. So I feel like if I get lucky with him, we'll probably be doing good. Um, and also, because he has type advantage, I do feel like he is more useful in this mode than uh, the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Also, he just hits much more consistently, defends much more consistently. So that's why I'm using him here over the LR. Also, he's rainbowed, so he has that extra uh, defense and stuff. Because he actually does have more defense than the LR, because my LR has no dupes. Uh, he has... Well, he's rainbowed, basically. Okay. Now we're just gonna finish this up. And actually, this is the first time that we've actually had Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's passive active. So I think this Goku's gonna be at like 2.5 million here, and it's gonna be gross. What's he gonna be at? Oh, please don't stun. Vegeta, please don't stun. Okay. 2.5, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Vegeta. See, like, double supers from him with tight advantage? Like, that just kills. Like, especially if one of them is a crit, like, the enemy just melts. We're loading. We're loading. Um, actually, you know what? Instead of doing a multi, I think we're just going to awaken this Vegeta on camera. Uh, here he is. So, also, the tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta also got an easy A. Um, he is okay. This Vegeta is definitely better, even though, uh, this... Vegeta will do less damage most of the time, um, but this Vegeta does have the S rank potential system, which does mean, hold up, well I guess I'll show you in a second, but because he has the S rank potential system, that basically means he evens out at 7,000 stats across the board, um, and so like a normal unit, a normal non-free to play unit will like max out at around 5,000 extra stats from the potential system. Uh, like if they're rainbow, but because he's an S rank, that means he gets like an extra 7,000. So the other Vegeta only gets 5,000. So if you're comparing them rainbowed, I would say that this Vegeta is better in every way. Like 
defense, offense, anything, you know? But if you're comparing them at like 55%, it's not as big of a deal because this Vegeta will have 2,800, um, well, plus 2,800 from the potential system. But either way, uh, like that's not as big of a difference as the uh, 7,000 and 5,000 is, you know? Um, and the other Vegeta does just have like a straight up attack boost. His straight up attack boost isn't the best. Um, but he is an easy A unit, which does mean his stats are pretty high. Like, obviously not as high as the S ranks, but they're still pretty good. And also, uh, right now, as I'm recording this, this might have changed when this is out. Um, also, this is the final awakening step. Um, we actually don't know what the easy A for, uh, Physical Goku Black does. I'm pretty excited for that. I'm, I don't know what they're gonna do with him, because I think there's a chance that, oh, we're gonna lock these up. Um, I think there's a chance that on JP, they make him to where the global Goku Black is now. You know what that, you know what I mean? Like, and they give him a little bit of a buff other than that. So, like, they give him the three key, uh, to extreme types, and then they give him, like, attack and defense 20% per orb obtained, and with his easy aid stats, they'll be, like, pretty good. Hold up. Uh, now... Okay, he's actually like at the upper end of EZA units. Um, so here are his stats. He has two dupes, uh, as you can see, 15 additional. And the showcase for this guy will be up tomorrow. Um, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. My name has been Blah, and I will see you guys next time.